What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Real Thoughts GML here back with another Game Maker tutorial and today is a continuation on our cool little juicy Game Maker platformer game that we are making. So last video we went ahead and messed with the camera movement and uh, just made it a little smoother so it didn't necessarily snap to the player right away. But today what we're going to be doing, and again, these are not. this is not stuff that you need in the game, this is just again helpful. Uh, tips and code that you can use and maybe utilize in other projects. It might not work for every single project. So today we are going to be working on smoother movement for the player. So as you can see, he kind of has instant acceleration and deceleration. And we're going to fix that today by having him kind of accelerate to a max speed and then decelerate. All right. So what we're going to do is go ahead and go into the step event of our player. And here you, we see uh, some code. And we're going to be altering this code. So actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and actually, let's go into the create event real quick and let's set up some variables. So we'll go ahead and put some code. And first variable is going to be facing. And this equals 1. And we're basically going to judge facing as which direction our player is looking towards. Or So if you last hit the right key, he's going to be the player would be looking to the right last left key the player will be looking to the left now we can utilize that by uh, in later tutorials when we start adding enemies and conflict and you know maybe some pushable uh, blocks and stuff like that we're actually going to be able to utilize this so facing can either equal one looking right or negative one to equal left and the reason why we have one in negative one is because say for instance we want to um, we, we run into an enemy, which we're going to be doing in later tutorials. We run into an enemy, uh, and it hits us, so we pop back in the opposite direction. Well, how do we know which direction the player is, is, uh, is in? So what we can do is say, you know, H speed equals, or, uh, equals 5 times facing. And this would basically, well, this would put it into the actual direction that it's in. So you'd actually need to multiply by facing again. But um, so 5 times facing, if we were facing the right, it would be 1. Times 1 again would be 5 still. Wait, hold on. I'm doing that wrong. Instead of facing negative 1. So we're basically, and let's put this in parentheses. So we would set h speed to and so what we're doing is we are multiplying 5 by facing. So if we, our facing is 1, then it'll be 5. Then multiply that by negative 1, it's going to turn into negative 5 the opposite direction. If we had negative 1, we're facing left, it's going to turn 5 into negative 5. And multiply that by negative 1, that's going to turn that into 5. So, yeah, that's how we're going to be utilizing facing. A little bit fast there, but um, that's, again, future tutorials. So we're also going to have an acceleration. Uh, variable here and this is gonna be one we'll just say and a constant max speed and we're gonna say five all right so now what we're gonna do is in our step event VK right we're gonna say if H speed is less than max speed H speed plus equals ACC and our, also our facings can equal one. And we can basically copy this for the left. So if, not in all caps, if, if I can type today, if H speed is greater than negative max speed, because we're going, we're going into the negative numbers here, H speed minus equals ACC, facing equals negative one. And there we go, simple as that. So if we go ahead and run the game now. As you can see, we have some uh, acceleration, but we have no deceleration, which is a problem. So we do have some acceleration. If we wanted to even get that even smoother, we can drop this down to 0 0.5 run it see what that comes out with yeah so pretty cool 
Um, so now what we're going to do for the deceleration is since we're using H speed variable, we can easily, and let's go ahead and get rid of this code here, H speed equals zero. We can easily just set an inbuilt variable in GameMaker friction t equals something like 0 0.2. And that right there, just setting that friction equal to 0 0.2 will. So we start to accelerate, and when we let off, we decelerate. So it's kind of like this icy movement, but I don't know. <laughs> take, take that as you will, OK? Um, so go leave a like, go and subscribe. And that's just a little collision problem. We'll probably have to fix that. Mm, let's see if we can duplicate that. Come on now. It's like when you hit a corner. Uh, I don't know. Anyhow, I will see you guys next time. Go leave a like, go and subscribe. And make sure to leave your support or your hate. Okay? I love reading those comments. Alright, I will talk to you later. Peace.